hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm sorry for the absence of videos recently, but just trying to keep up with them and keep the footage rolling. And really the editing has kind of been the main problem. Um, I just got a new job, so just kind of managing that with making videos has been a little tough. Just trying to keep my training on point and my nutrition. So I do apologize, but I wanted to make this quicker video for you guys and a little bit different style of video. I am going to be doing a commentary as you can see over the video, but it is going to be a key exercise for the inner and upper chest. And these exercises are going to be accessory movements. So by that I mean these are not exercises you should be going into the gym and doing first. These are not compound exercises, these are very isolation based exercises. So before I get into my three favorite and just kind of the, the favorites of my inner and upper chest um, selection, I kind of want to just stress to you guys that these are not the main builders of your pecs. You want to be doing a flat bench press, flat dumbbell bench press, or even an incline really to isolate that upper chest if you're trying to build up the upper chest and get rid of those collarbones. So, just trying to stress that to you guys before I get into the actual video and commentary about um, the actual exercises just because I see so many people going into the gym doing pec flies to begin going to another isolation exercises for their chest then another isolation exercise for their chest and they're kind of wondering why they're not really seeing the solid mass being built and that is going to come from those main movements guys the movements you're able to use the most amount of weight on and I know that bench press for me and for most people is going to be able to be um, the movement where you can move the most amount of weight in an effective manner so stick to those compound movements guys same goes for legs you want to stick to your squats go to the isolation exercises after and um, just kind of wanted to really stress that for, to you guys because building that inner chest is not going to come unless you have a solid base already so really want to focus on building those main movements up and sticking with them so getting into the video because I know I've already been talking too much but um, the first main exercise I kind of want to talk to you guys about that I typically use for my inner chest as an accessory movement is going to be the one arm pec fly and this can be done on the pec deck as you're seeing me do here or it can be also done on the cable fly so if you're just um, using the same type of movement and the same type of pattern um, but just with a cable instead of the pec deck uh, this is really really gonna help you just get a feel and get that mind muscle connection that I always talk about in that upper chest a lot of times even when I'm doing the pec deck with just one um, just both hands at the same time I can't really feel that upper inner chest if you kind of get what I mean um, that you're kind of seeing right now where those collarbones are I really can't feel that I don't know if it's because I'm not able to come across fully like I am in this movement because what I'm really stressing is the actual movement across my pec so when you're coming here you want to make sure that you're extending past where you normally could if you were doing them um, together like this so hopefully you guys can see me on my camera so when you're normally bringing them together at the same time you're not able to go any farther than this but when you are doing them one at a time you're able to come all the way across and actually really feel that squeeze and that tension up here so really focus on that guys when you're doing the movement and really focus on the actual um, the actual squeeze right here rather than the weight you're using this is already going to be when you have a ton of blood flow into the muscles and the pecs themselves so you really just want to focus on getting more blood flow in there and using that mind muscle connection to really isolate that upper and inner chest um, moving on to the next exercise um, it's kind of the same thing very very much focusing on that squeeze right here to really feel the inner chest working and um, this is going to be the isolation uh, excuse me the isolateral chest press so the isolateral chest press is something I really like to use to really widen my chest out when I'm using them together so this specific variation is obviously one arm at a time and you're kind of sitting cockeyed the reason why you're doing this is as you can see one arm at a time you're really able to get a good squeeze and a good stretch on the pec fully very very similar to the pec deck exercise but it just allows you to get a little bit different of a stimuli using the hammer strength machine and also it just feels a little bit different so make sure you're using lighter weight I'm only using a plate on each side there and really just focus on 
lowering the seat down so your arm is even with the part of the chest you're wanting to be working. Same goes for the uh, pec deck, you want to make sure that the seat is all the way down and that is going to allow you to be able to really focus on the upper chest because if you're really high up in your, your, your lower chest and the underside of your chest is um, what's being worked and you're on that plane, you really want to make sure that you kind of raise yourself up a little bit just to give yourself the best positioning possible to hit that upper chest. Um, the next movement you guys did see is going to be just a simple push up, but the difference is, excuse me, a simple close grip push up, but the difference is I'm using five pound dumbbells and I'm actually pushing them together on the ground. So as I'm doing the movement with my hands directly in line with my upper chest, I'm actually squeezing together as much as I am pushing up. I usually will do this at the end of the exercise just to finish everything off and really what that's gonna do is it's really gonna squeeze that inner chest and really force that blood flow into that inner and upper chest rather than doing like a normal push up where your triceps would be doing most of the movement and um, you're more so your lower chest is gonna be doing the movement as well as your front delt. So so really focus on squeezing them together as you saw and also using your triceps but just minimally. So really just focusing on squeezing, keeping your hands in line with your inner chest because if you get down here or you get up here with it, it's going to be a little bit more difficult and you're not going to be um, stimulating the upper chest and inner chest as much as you are um, the rest of the pectoral. So. Hopefully this, this video kind of helps you guys out with a few um, chest exercises that help target that inner chest because that is something myself, a lot of people struggle with and hopefully that helps you guys out. But make sure these are your accessory movements, you're throwing them in after your main movements, your dumbbell bench, your flat bench, and your incline, stuff like that. Stick to those main compound movements, that's really what's going to help build up that mass and um, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Like I said, please like it if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for more guys. Thank you for watching if you're still watching and I will talk to you guys very soon. The next video is actually going to be about my split and just kind of what I've been doing for these last six months and kind of what I would recommend hopping onto a split going forward for someone who's a beginner. So. Stay tuned for that. Thank you once again, and I'll talk to you guys soon.